what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel if you're new please hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified every time a new video is dropped if you want to check out more philadelphia hood tours visit my philadelphia hoods playlist with over 200 plus hood tours covering all different neighborhoods from philadelphia all right guys so today we're starting off the tour in the Gray's Ferry section of Philadelphia, this is the Gray's Ferry neighborhood. We are currently on 26 and Tasker. Figured I'd take you guys through a walk. I know I just recently did this neighborhood in the video titled The Devil's Pocket. We covered the Devil's Pocket neighborhood, which is a few minutes away from here. But the Devil's Pocket was so small. We're currently crossing 26th Street. Yeah, the Devil's Pocket was so small. That since this was right up the block, I included a little bit of the Grace Ferry in the Devil's Pocket tour. But I did Grace Ferry a couple times. Most of the times I did it was like at night. I'm gonna show you guys this church right here. Check it out. It's a really nice church. Empowerment Center, Abundant Life. It's pretty nice, right? So we're just gonna take a walk. Show you guys what, what the neighborhood looks like. We're passing Bailey Street. You got Bailey Street on my right hand side. Got a computer blowout spot on my right hand side. Looks like a computer repair shop. Passing Mayflower Chinese and American takeout store. We got Castelli or Castelli roofing and contracting on my left hand side. We're passing the 1500 block of Taney Street. On my right hand side, we got Eight Brothers Shop and Save. It looks like a supermarket. Eight Brothers Shop and Save. Passing 27th from Tasker. This is South Philadelphia. For those of you who are not familiar with the neighborhood. Crossing 27th Street. There's a sign right here that reads free food, clothes, masks, and all types of items. I got a police officer right here on my left hand side. We're currently passing Edding Street. We got cops on my right hand side, stationed at the corners. This is supposed to be one of the most troubled areas in South Philly. We got a rest in peace sign right here, remembering important people. We got Get It Mini Market Grocery on my left hand side. We're passing Marston Street. This is what Marston looks like. Check out one of their little alleys. That's a little back alleyway. We're now approaching 28th Street, 28th and Tasker. Currently crossing 28th Street. On my right hand side, we got New Kirk Grocery Store. I just saw that tracks tag. T R A X tracks. This is New Kirk Grocery. This is what New Kirk looks like.
We're now approaching the 1500 block of Dover Street. I'm going to turn left for a change just so that you guys can see this open field over there. Looks like a playground and whatnot. Way afar over there. Then I'll turn right so you guys can see Dover. On my left-hand side, it looks like on 29th and Tasker, we have an Irish pub. It looks like it could be an Irish bar. 29th Street is also known as Marquee Boulevard. Tasker is also known as Dean's Way. So let's go through this park right here so you guys can see this park. We're going to be crossing Tasker Street right at the intersection of 29th and Tasker. I'm gonna make a right-hand turn. We're gonna be crossing 29th Street. Check out that sign on my right-hand side. I'm gonna go through this park so that you guys can actually see what the park looks like. Now, to my knowledge, I think some locals commented in one of my videos saying that there used to be a projects in this area a sky rise. I don't know what happened to it. Of course, if you guys got knowledge, info, stories you want to share, feel free to leave that in the comment section. That's why I leave the comment section open. Give you guys a look at the surroundings. There's a little playground, a little children's area where kids can go and play at. I see people walking their dogs and whatnot. Somebody got their dog over there playing. We got some new looking houses over here. A lot of these houses look new. I think that's where the projects were set. That's what people were telling me. Check out the little play set. That little play set right there. Is it like a weight? Yeah, it's like a weight set. Where you can do weights and stuff. Wow, they got hooked up over here. This little jungle gym. This is a fresh jungle gym. This thing crispy. I see a TNT tag over there. Hard one. Next to the lottery number spot. Right there in the corner, you got 29th and Morris Street. I don't even know if I'm walking to an exit. Hopefully I'm walking to an exit. We'll find out as we walk. Show you guys what this block looks like. Yeah, it looks like there's an exit right here. 30th and Morris, that's what we're approaching. It's sad that this has to be a high crime filled neighborhood because it's beautiful. It's actually nice looking. It looks a lot better than many neighborhoods in North Philly, West Philly. This is even looking better than some neighborhoods in the Northeast because the houses are uniform. They look nice. The design of them. They got lawns. It looks pretty nice. I run 30th from Morris. I'm just going to cross. I'm going to cross 30th Street. I got a bus stop right there on my left hand side. The bus is called the 29, 29 bus. You can wait right there, get on the bus stop. This is what their yards look like. That's why I said like this neighborhood looks pretty nice, man. It's sad that it gotta be crime filled. Look at that. Such a beautiful like back driveway. Look at the fences. The fences look nice. The atmosphere in general, it's a lot cleaner. I mean, there is some debris and some trash on the ground, but it's not that bad as far as trash goes. Can somebody help me out with this? Are these Section 8 houses? Are these regular mortgage homes? Help me out. Corley Street, 1600 block Corley's. Yeah, I don't know if this is like... You know affordable housing or did this take 
uh, replace of the projects? Like, did the people from the projects move into these homes? I'm not sure. So if you guys got that knowledge, feel free to leave it in the comment section. If these are the projects, these are some nice houses. I know that I drove through here. I did Grace Ferry after 12 midnight. I did Grace Ferry around 8, 9. I did a couple Grace Ferry videos. You couldn't really see much detail. But let's just, let's walk up here just so that you guys can see a uniform block. We're on 31st and Morris. It's pretty quiet. Right now, honestly, somebody could pull up and <laughs> ain't nothing going to be heard because everybody is indoors. And check out their little, see the little lawns? Tilt it down so that you guys can actually see how beautiful this looks. Fresh asphalt driveway, nice little green area surrounding the house. You look at the properties, properties don't look that bad. They look pretty nice. You look across the street, everything looks uniform. This is the definition of uniform. In some of my videos, I say, look at this block looks uniform. That block looks uniform. This block looks uniform. No, guys, this block looks uniform right here. Really nice looking. And yeah, this is considered one of the most troubled neighborhoods in South Philly. In the summer, I'm sure you'll see more activity out. Right now, it's cold season, so you won't really see people out unless they got to commute to work. All right, we're at the intersection of 31st and Moore Street. It's going to tilt up so you guys can see, or pan left, and then I'm going to pan right. It's like it's trickery. This neighborhood's trickery because Everybody in the comment section was like, bro, like it's it's not safe to be there, bro. Like people get shot here. But it, it'll deceive the naked eye. Somebody who's not from the neighborhood, somebody who comes from out of state, you would think you would be fooled to think that this neighborhood is nice. It's a quiet little neighborhood. Looks like a cool neighborhood to raise your kids. As far as like the aesthetics go and the architecture. It's architecturally nice. It almost looks like a suburban community, right? Doesn't it look like a suburban community? <laughs> uh, we got Mifflin Street in front of us. I can go left, I can go right. I think I'm gonna go right and then I'm gonna come down and end up back on Tasker. Just wanted to show y'all some of the new homes. We're gonna get back to Tasker where some of the older homes are at, the hood homes. The ones that's been in the neighborhood forever. What was the name of the projects that used to be here? And for any of y'all who know, like did the projects take all of these blocks or was it just on one block? Were there houses back here in, back in the day and they knocked them down? I don't understand. As far as, this is a good square mile or two of just new homes. As far as the eye can see, look how fresh this avenue is. We're gonna make a right here. I'm gonna cross over the street. It looks like we got, what's that over there? Like the highway. We got pol police on my right too. Probably gonna pay attention to me because I'm in all black with a mask on, but I'm walking with a camera, so I can't be that, that problematic. You know what I mean? Yeah, so far I was here, what, 20 minutes, I seen three cop cruisers. Look at their alleyways. Yeah, not bad. Got side, look at side driveways. On Napa Street, let's make a right on the 1800 block of Napa. Yeah, the sad truth is, I think I have more I don't really fear nothing, but I should have more worries about the officers than the actual residents. Strange, right? I should feel safe 
on the city officers, but I know sometimes on the city officers, it's like a tense situation. <laughs> Cause you know, they're taught to, you know, profile in the academy. And sometimes the way they profile can put me in a sticky situation. That's why at least I make sure to bring my ID in case the law jumps out and says, hey buddy, what are you doing? I got my ID, dog. Like I'm from Philly. <laughs> But I'm loving the lawns. I think the lawns are real nice. The lawns give it like that nice uh, roomy suburban feel, almost like a storybook. Like a township almost, right? Like right here, if you didn't see the skyline, or I didn't tell you we were in Philly and I just started the tour here, you wouldn't think that we're in Philly. But we are, we're in South Philly. All right, so we're at the intersection of Moore and Napa. I'm gonna continue going up one more block. Yeah, best believe I'm on my P's and Q's though. And 99% of the time, you good in any hood as long as you don't bring any drama with you, you show respect. The energy you put out is the energy you receive in return. Yeah, look how nice that looks. It looks so nice. So quiet, right? I'm just breathing. Y'all probably hear me breathing more because I'm walking kind of kind of at a good pace. I've always been a walker. I like walking. It's healthy. Good for the heart. Good for therapy. Good for the mind. Looks like there's a school over here. All right, we're crossing Morris and Napa. I'm going to make a left over here. So y'all can see that school. We're crossing Napa Street now. At least so y'all can see what this school look like. It looked like a school unless it's like a public service building. We got a PHA housing authority. So that tells me that these houses might belong to PHA, Philadelphia Housing Authority. I smell some strong paint fumes. Look at it. Look at that. Wow, it don't even look like Philly. Oh, this is a high school, y'all. Comment below if you went to this high school or you are going to this high school. Let's make a right. We're gonna make a right right here on 32nd Street. That school's called Charles Y. Aldrin or Aldrin Alden Reed High School. I don't know how to pronunciate it, but it looks like a pretty big building for a high school as far as it looks like it takes up like a whole block, right? Goes from that corner to the other corner. You see it? So it takes up about a whole block. It's not bad. Looks like a new building, though. They probably made that school when they made this little community, right? You got this little squirrel dude over here. What's up, squirrel dude? What's up, buddy? He over there chilling. <laughs> Squirrel's over there chilling. I was going to point the camera at him, but... We're passing Fernand Street. Someone also in the comment section explained that there used to be territory wars over here. I don't know. I think he said something about 30th Street versus, I don't know, 27th Street. I don't know, something. But he said that they had, back in the day, I don't know if they still beefing, but they had wars. Block versus block. That sucks because y'all all part of the same community. Y'all all part of the same hood. Y'all should be united. Y'all should be together fighting a bigger cause, not fighting each other. You know what I mean? 
we're on 30 second in tasker i'm gonna make a right right here on tasker we got the 29 bus on my left hand side yeah y'all should be fighting together like be united become one force don't fight each other y'all a couple blocks away y'all look alike everybody like you know you, you we hurting our own brothers there's no need to be beefing with each other that's anyway to each his own we're gonna make a left on Patton street Patton, Patton. i don't even know how you pronunciate it it looks like Patton. But then with my luck, it ended up being Patan. <laughs> All right, so we're getting to some of the older looking homes. We got a little scooter right here. Got a little meat meat. See, this feel more like the hood. This feel more like Philly. Like, I feel comfortable here. The other spot I felt kind of eerily strange. It's like one of them, the movies where everybody comes out and mows their lawn at the same exact time and it makes a U-turn and everybody waves at each other with a diabolical smile, like that grin on their face. This vehicle, I was gonna say this vehicle, this home is for sale. Look like they already got investors in the neighborhood. You see the house over there on my right-hand side on the next block? It's a big house, you see it? That means that investors are already buying property. Another police officer. You notice how we see a lot of police over here. So I guess that emphasizes the crime rate over here. All right, we're gonna go down Pat Patan Street. I just wanted to show you guys this property over here. Yeah, it looks like a brand new building, right? Yep, brand new for sale. Wonder how much they're gonna want for that in this neighborhood. Buildings like that down north usually go for like three hundred and fifty thousand to almost five hundred thousand, depending on the location. Wonder how much they're charging for that in Grace Ferry. Y'all see, we got the porches on the block. We got the taller stairways. We got more steps to climb up. Goes to show you, looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. But the sad part is, a lot of the violence be senseless violence. It'd be like simple beefs that could be re resolved in a much easier manner than gun violence you don't come back from gun violence okay. you got some sneakers up there on the line you see them some sneakers up there right, I'm gonna go make this right it looks like they're rehabilitating this house right here get a house right there they're rehabilitating it Show you guys that alley. They're doing some rehabilitation work there. We're passing the 1400 block of Napa Street, Napa. It has some old heads across the street talking about back in the day in New York. I overheard a little bit of the conversation. All right, we're passing the 1400 block of 31st Street. Deaf child area on my right hand side. I can walk up and down these blocks, but I think it's a little bit easier to show you guys what the block looks like from the long perspective. You can see more. I'm able to cover more. That's why usually I like doing the driving tours because I'm able to cover more square foot in a little bit amount of time. All right, I think I'm gonna make a right, then I'm gonna go left. I'm gonna make a right, I'm gonna go left because I wanna show you guys 
What? Grace Ferry on Grace Ferry Avenue. I believe there's a little in industrial little complex. It looks like an industrial zone. It looks pretty cool. I know I want to show you guys that at least so y'all can see that. Because for the most part over here, all you, all you guys are going to see is like homes, residential homes, residential neighborhood. You'll see a few businesses. See, you got like a Rite Aid right here on my right hand side. It's the local neighborhood pharmacy. You got Vito's hoagie shop right here on my left hand side over there in the corner. You got that purple Monte Carlo. Look at that purple Monte. Nice purple Monte Carlo. You got the Rite Aid right here. See the Rite Aid? Looks nice. Simple. Nice mural right there. We're on 30th and Reed. 30th and Reed. All right, we're gonna cross over. What's this? 30th. I'm gonna make a right. We're passing the 49 bus stop. I want to show you guys one of these little blocks at least before we get back to the main avenue. I don't have no set point of destination. I'm just walking and talking. I don't know much historical facts or value about this neighborhood. So you guys can always Google and learn more about the Grace Ferry neighborhood. Or my viewers that are from this neighborhood are more than welcome. We're going to make a left here. I don't even know what block this is, but we just made a left. My viewers are more than welcome to share their thoughts, memories, as always. Oh, we got cats eating. Check out the cats. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at cats. What's up, cats? Meow, meow. A furry cat, too, right? I don't want to ruin their, their meal. They're out there eating. What's that? Lunch? Breakfast? I don't know. It's probably lunchtime. I know I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> I gotta bust a leak. <laughs> gotta bust a drip drop. We in the middle of the street with it. There's not much traffic, so I can go on the sidewalk if y'all want me to go on the sidewalk. No littering, $300 fine. Wonder if anybody actually listens to the signs. Turn left so y'all can see across the street. See that? Hey, this is for sale. Wei Jang. See it? In case anybody want to buy this house. There's a abandoned house across the street. Look at it. Right there. Abandoned house. All right, let's make a left. We're going to make this left. We were just on Garrett Street. All right. Look at that abandoned house across the street. Is that a house? Century established 100 years ago on 29th and Reed. They got guitars and stuff over here. We got Hollywood Street over here. I went down Hollywood Street, remember? I'm gonna go right. I see a classic car over here, so I'm gonna follow the classic car. It looks like, uh, what's that, a Camaro? Can't even tell. Oh, look at that. A Z28. That's a Camaro? Talk to me, y'all. What is that? It's rusted out of this world, though. Beautiful, though. Real beautiful. You got the Weld Racing rims, the Weld mags. Passing the 1400 block of Dover Street, and on my left hand side, you got a new home right there. See it? Brand new. Made it right here on the corner. So quiet once again. I gotta use the bathroom though, man. They need to have porter potties out here. <sighs> oh, snap. Look at this big raccoon. Yo, let's go over here. Look at this, this raccoon. I'm gonna jaywalk real quick. Look at this raccoon. This dude is huge. Oh, I thought it was a raccoon. It's a cat. What's up, meow meow? Man, you, you're a pretty cat. You look like a whole raccoon from afar, right? 
Why he looking at me like that? The cat about to steal me. The cat about to jab me. He like, dog, what you looking at? Get that camera out of my face. <laughs> Yo, that was funny. I really thought that that cat was a raccoon. We're passing Newkirk Street. Oh, here's where the industrial is at. I want to show y'all the industrial. That's one thing that I want to show y'all about Grace Ferry. I don't only want to show you the bad. I want to show you the industrial. It's like a little industrial complex right here. It looks like it could be featured in a movie or in like a Netflix series. Not saying that it was used in a Netflix series, but it looks like it should be in some type of film or something. Y'all got to use the bathroom. I hate when I do these tours and I got to use the bathroom. Got a little scooter across the street, little meet meet. Meet meet squad. See that? Meet meet squad. Let me not disturb these birds over here eating. You see these birds? Good yeah, birds, y'all can eat. Tweedle tweet, tweedle tweet, 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 tweedle tweet, tweet. Yeah, let them eat. I don't want to ruin their, their meal plan. Oh man, that's a perfect spot to take a leak right there in the corner. However, we are still on camera. <laughs> Could you imagine that in the tour? I just pull over, take a leak, and then keep the tour moving. <laughs> Look at this little little alley. Look, they threw mattresses and everything in the alley. Look at it. See all this trash over here? Yeah. And then look at that alley. See the alley over there? Those alleys usually connect to the back of the houses. We're on New Kirk Street. See, there's more noise over here. Like, I could deal with over here. I could deal with the noise. It's, it's that silent, creepy ambience that I can't really deal with. Check out those houses. Brand new. You could tell that those houses are brand new. Stylization does not even match the community. All right, I'm gonna make a right here so we don't gotta go down the same block. I'm gonna make a right and then we'll make a left on 28th Street. Let me show y'all these houses. Would you move into one of those houses in this neighborhood? Comment below, let me know. All right, we're next to Flores Mini Market on 28th and Wharton. I'm gonna cross 28th Street. We got Norm's Golden Fried Shrimp on my left-hand side. I'm gonna make a left. Right here, we're gonna go down 28th Street on 28th and Wharton. You see, they got a lot of new houses right there on the corner, too. They got one over here on the left-hand side. We're on Titan Street, 2700 block of Titan Street. Look, look at these houses right here. And then they make these houses so big compared to the rest of them. And then across the street, you also hear more construction being done. So the investors don't care anything about the crime rate. All they're trying to do is sell you a home. <laughs> look at right here, too. As you can see, they're actually in business making the houses. And believe it or not, a lot of these houses start off just like that, all wood. Look, 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 y'all don't, don't believe me? You don't believe me that these houses start off as all wood? Look right there. In case you didn't believe that they start out as wood and then they add all of the other materials when they're finished the wooden frame. I mean, I'm not an architecture. I'm not a specialist at foundations or anything, but I don't know. That's a whole lot of wood. These are some of the older houses. Look at, you see them? Some of the older homes. Look at that house right there. That house got like a little second floor door. I guess so the person can come out front. We're on Oakford and 28th Street. Oakford and 28th. I took you down here because I wanted to show you this industrial complex in front of us. I don't know if you guys can see it but it's huge. Oh, 
over here on the left hand side on Ingram Street looks like there's a business that specializes in like contractor materials and on my right hand side we have what do you know a no dumping sign with tons of dumping yeah check it out <laughs> people don't read the signs they don't care about the signs they're gonna dump regardless I was driving by a dumping place the other day that charges you to dump. We're passing Manton Street, 2700 block of Manton. I was driving by a spot the other day that charges you to dump. And the minimum, look at this block. The minimum was $90 worth of dumping and it starts from 100 and up to dump a certain amount of tons. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take y'all through this block so y'all can see something more grungy like. And then on the left, when we make a left at the corner, we should be able to see the industrial complex that I was talking about. Cause you could kind of see it from here. Look at it, right? Look at, look at, look at, look at. You see it? That's the industrial complex. When you see that, that's how you know you're in Grace Ferry. Got a lot of graffiti here too. But look at, check out those new houses they're making right there. They're working right now as we speak. Yup. Oh, there's a Jordan sitting right here. Look at for all you sneaker heads. There's a Jordan. What's that? Is that a number seven Jordan? I think that's a number seven, right? Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of Jordans, but that was one of my favorite pairs right there. It was the number seven. Yeah, I was never a big fan of Jordans, but I liked it the number seven, like the style of it. Look at that. I was dumping. So basically, they're gonna be selling you those homes for top dollar, right? They're gonna be selling you those homes for top dollar right there across the street with all this dumping done on the next block. Look at that's the new house, and this is all the dumping. Look at sofas, beds, tons and tons of trash. Oh man, all I could think is this would be a wonderful spot to use the bathroom. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Look at Lily dumping everywhere. And it'll sit there for a while, either until the business cleans it up or until the city sends out some workers, probably on tax dollars, on city, you know, funds to come clean up the block. Look at everywhere. You see it on the left and on the right. You see trash. It says warning, 24 hour video surveillance. They weren't really surveilling much, if you think about it, because look at this block. It looks like a dumping site. But fast forward 20 years from now, I bet you there'll be brand new houses on my left and they'll probably buy this building out on my right and this whole block will be new again. All right, we're on the 2700 block of Manton. Look on the right. You got some new homes, right? Look. They look a lot newer. I like that brickwork. That brick style looks nice. Then you got some new feng shui ones over there. Look at these old Ford um, work trucks. Look nice. A brand new house right here. And somebody's already living in here. Boom. Somebody's already residing in this residence. And look at this block over here. They got the roof decks. Y'all see the roof decks? You see the roof deck, right? Yep. Oh, look at that classic. Oh, we got to cross the street just so I can show y'all this classic. That's a Cadillac. Cadillac DeVille. Oh, that's a coupe. You know, coupes are sought after. And it's a soft top. Does it have a working convertible? Wow. Look at that. That's a beast, right? Wow, that's awesome. That was a nice find. All right, so let's cross the street. We're on Federal Street. Federal. So, over there, they got security cams right up there on, on the side of the building. And then you can see like the roof deck. You see the roof deck? Most of them come equipped with roof decks now. 
and you see the insulation, you see after they do the wood, then they wrap it with insulation. And then I guess, I don't know if they like put their, 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 their brickwork or their aluminum siding, but look at, they're rebuilding this whole neighborhood. So for it being one of the worst neighborhoods in South Philly, as far as crime goes, I guess crime equals investment. You know what I mean? Look at these birds right here eating. I'm sorry, birds. Tweet a tweet, tweet a tweet. Yeah. Look at that building. You see, they put the bricks right in front of it, but that started off as a wooden frame. We're on Ellsworth, 2600 block of Ellsworth. Look at that, that roof deck over here. Let me show y'all that roof deck. See that roof deck? So they slide these new houses in between all the old ones. It don't matter. Look at this dude got a ticket. This is what a Philadelphia ticket looks like, y'all. So if y'all ever get a ticket, that's what it looks like. And that looks old. It looks like he's been had that there for a while. Another police officer. You see that police officer? Right here, it looks like we got what used to be a water ice spot. It's called the quick stop. You see, and then they have the, the old signs of, I guess, how much water ice used to cost. Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Small for a dollar, medium for 175, large for. No, that might be a recent business because those prices are expensive. Woo! All right, yeah, so. As you can see. show you this view and here's the skyline y'all see the philadelphia skyline right there y'all see it right that's the philadelphia skyline all right let me go this way yeah you can zigzag and walk all through these neighborhoods but you're pretty much going to see the same stylization as you can see as it got closer to this avenue as they got close to the Great Ferry, the investors were, were purchasing. We're next to the 12 and the 64 bus, passing Ellsworth Street. But as you got closer to where those new project homes were at, the houses looked a little bit more original. It didn't look like nobody was investing there yet. Keyword, yet. What is this? This was like a church. Look at it. See it? Zion Hill Memorial. It was a church. Right here on Grace Ferry. Look at these buildings. Check this out. A brand new house, right? Look at that beautiful backyard, right? Look at it. You see it? And then right next to it, you got all this dumping and all this trash and, and this ugliness. It look crazy, right? Yo, I bet y'all somebody's gonna come into the stream and watch the stream, it's gonna be nighttime because I'm gonna premiere it at night and they're gonna be like, you lying, this ain't live. <laughs> Yo, why every stream, they'll be like, you lying, this ain't live. It's called a pre-recorded video and then you just schedule it. Look at, look at this view right here. With Grace Ferry, look at it, that's a nice picture. You got the, the smoke towers on the left-hand side and then you got the city skyline on the right-hand side. That's nice, right? Over here, you got the spot where all the youngsters usually meet at. They ride bikes over here. We're on 28th and Grace Ferry Ave. I'll show you guys one more look at this. I, I know I wanted to show you these smoke towers because every time I see these smoke towers, I think of Grace Ferry because they're located in Grace Ferry. And there's Grace Ferry Plaza over there. 
So it's like a little shopping center, a little shopping complex. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right. I'm gonna keep on walking. I'm just gonna keep walking this way. We'll take it straight through where it's like a little subway avenue. Not a subway avenue, like a little train overpass. I don't know if it's still in service. The bus just beeped at the gentleman riding on the bicycle, cyclist. This Honda Accord right here does not have wheel locks. No, 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 no. Don't do that to yourself. Those rims are highly sought after and that would get jacked up and left on bricks. Yep, yep, yep. Do not, I repeat, do not leave your car without wheel locks. The least you can do is have wheel locks. Because even if you don't have wheel locks, or even if you do have wheel locks, if they really wanted your vehicle, then they can just steal the vehicle and leave it on bricks somewhere else. But those are the new Honda Accord rims that everybody wants. Not everybody, not my viewers, but I know a lot of people in here in Philly, they want those rims. Because you can sell those rims easily on the street for probably anywhere from like 800 to like 900, sometimes 11, 1200, depending on the size. Those looked a little bit small, looked like 818, so you might not have been able to get that much, but yeah, let's keep on walking straight. This is the area where we saw that classic Cadillac right here. The, the DeVille on my right hand side. Yeah, that's a DeVille. I'm gonna give y'all one last peek of the DeVille. One last peek of the DeVille. Yeah, that's nice. Now we can look at some more houses over here. So you could tell by the vehicles, the type of people that are moving in. And I guess they don't really care about the neighborhood because to be honest with you, as long as you don't hang outside and you just stay in your house, you go to work, you come back, you stay in your house, you might have a few family gatherings, few family engagements. But if you just go to work, come home and do that and just repeat that cycle, you don't really have much to worry about. I mean, it might be a home invasion or two. That's happened a dozen of times all throughout Philly. Doesn't matter the neighborhood. There would be a home invasion, but that's very rare. Look, check this out. They already got the cover sheet for the zoning that's gonna happen here. That means somebody already bought the slot and then they're gonna put another one of these houses in it. Look at the entrance to the house. Show you guys what it look like so y'all can see the detail that they put onto these new houses. They're actually pretty nice, not bad. Sucks that they're all made out of wood. But then again, I bet ours are made out of wood too in the 1900s because they didn't have no other materials, so. Probably all made out of wood too. We got Progressive Worship Center, Reverend Joe Mallory, pastor and founder. Well, 26 in federal, 26 in federal. Again, we got brand new houses right here, right? Brand new. But then what do you see right next to the brand new house? Dumping. You see trash. Look at that. And then they're gonna sell this house right next door to it. So I guess that's something that the home owner has to take into consideration when financing, mortgaging, doing something, some type of payment option with these homes. I doubt any of them are cashing out the full 300, 400, 500,000 they're asking for them. On very few occasions, maybe people are fortunate enough to cash out, but a lot of people that are moving in are getting into mortgages, 15 year mortgages, 20 year, 25 year, sometimes 30 year mortgage so they can get a lower monthly payment. And I don't know if these houses will qualify for subsidy. They're for sale, those are for sale, three of them. They look very uniform. Very nice looking, simple two story homes. Look at these houses right here on my right hand side. They have uh, raised staircases. So you actually gotta walk up a staircase, you see that? And then look across the street. You have a little garage on the first floor. Not many neighborhoods are zoned for first floor garages, so that's cool. Look at, let me show y'all this. I'm gonna do a full turnaround. 180. Look at, you see how they kind of try to keep that same facade or that same style? See how I got the cases that are shared? And then it goes up to the front of the house. It looks like somebody's already living in here. Yeah, because the windows are foggy. Yep. Goes to show you, they waste no time to move in. All 
Uh, this is that little train overpass that I was talking about. Well, underpass. We're on Manson Street. We're going to make a right. This would be a perfect spot to use the bathroom. <laughs> a perfect spot. I'm going to show you all this little back driveway right here. Look at this little back driveway. This is a little small community that they just made. Little new houses. Look at it. They're all new on the right and on the left. They're all new. These are the back sides. The front sides are on the other block. But they have their own private entrance. Their own roll-up gate. So I'm assuming that they get clickers. Everybody gets a clicker. And they come in here and they park inside their private property. Look, there's a little Honda Gram over there. You see the little Honda Gram? So let me show y'all what the front of the block looks like before I keep on walking down this avenue. Look, we still got some shoes up here. Still got some shoes out on the line. That's just to, you know, leave your memory. It's like leaving your your marks here. All right, let me see, show y'all what the front of the house is like. You see the front? And they're making more new ones right over there. You see it? Right in the middle of the shot. Those are all new and there's people outside working on them. And they're selling this house over here. Yeah, guys, so. And you look over here, you got University City. That big building over there, that's from University City. All right, so let's keep walking. We got a lot of grass up there, up top, or weeds. I shouldn't say grass. It looks like weeds. Look, they're making a new building right there. See? They're already laying up the foundation and everything. Wow, Honda Odyssey. <laughs> I used to have that same one. Yep, that same one. That's what a lot of my first tours were, were done with. And that vehicle right there. Look at little Meet Meet, Meet Meet Squad. I'm surprised this thing ain't get stolen yet. It's a Honda Elite, it's an old school one. Yeah, I'm surprised that thing didn't get jacked yet. Cause a lot of people tend to take those things. They're easy to hotwire once you pop the ignition and they can have fun wheeling them. All right, I'm gonna cross the street Retail space available. You see this big quarter building right here? This whole corner? It's retail space. You guys could, I guess, if you're an investor, it's the spot. All right, let's show this, this graph up there. Look at it. It says Lus, and then it says Early. I believe that's what it says. It looked like they did it with roller paint with a roller, a home house painting roller, and you get a can of house paint and you just roll. It actually looks a lot sloppier than a roller, but it might just be a roller. We got a waxer hand over here. What's up, waxer? I actually met waxer. He bought one of my DVDs a couple years ago from the Graph Files of Anarchy. A very small percentage of those DVDs were actually sold. And then I got had a whole batch left so I just distributed them to people that actually wanted to see them and then I put the rest I put the whole um, segment the whole amateur documentary because that's what it is it's an amateur documentary I put the whole thing on YouTube Docs what's up Docs I see you we're on Wharton oh right here's Philly Scooters this is the new Philly Scooters yeah I believe this is the new Philly Scooters isn't it Wharton, yeah, this is the new Philly Scooters. The Philadelphia Scooter Store. If you want to buy a two-stroke scooter or four-stroke, you go in there. They used to be located on Passyunk, but then they moved. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go here. Just so y'all can see more of the blocks so y'all don't just see that boring avenue. Because the avenue might be boring. Oh, this ain't even, oh, this ain't Philly Scooters. This is the Grooming Daycare Center. That's Philly, Philly Scooters, that gray building. Not the purple building, but the gray building. 
You see that one right there? It even got a scooter on the door. So that was a good thing that I came through here because I was able to correct myself. That's Philly Scooters. If you zoom in, you see there's a scooter on the door. It's called Philadelphia Scooters. You can finance scooters, you can buy scooters. You can get your scooter repaired there. And they also have motorcycles too, so they only have scooters, they got motorcycles. They don't have any big beefy motorcycles, but they got like vintage motorcycles. Yeah. They got Gen 3, your friendly neighborhood home experts. So we're getting back to the residential neighborhood. We're on 26 in Wharton. Check out that building right there. Look at the architecture of that building. Fabulous, right? Looks dope, looks hot. <laughs> For the older people that heard me say dope, I don't mean it looks like the substance. I'll check him out. Uh, he, he probably going to go to Scooter, um, Philadelphia Scooter Works or whatever the place is called. <laughs> Yeah, when I say dope, I don't mean like the drug. Dope is slang for cool. It looks cool, man. It looks hot. It looks nice. Yeah, I actually liked it, that building. Let me show y'all another peek of that building again. That's nice, but and it's for sale or it's for rent. I would like to cash out on that bad boy, right? That's a nice building to buy. Like, give me that. Give me all of that. <laughs> I don't want just just rental. I want to own that, John. That John look nice. John. For those of you guys who don't know what John means, especially the older viewers who are watching from around the world john is a philadelphia term that means pretty much anything and everything i literally did a whole vlog a half an hour vlog explaining what is a john i did that vlog in the summer of 2018 i also shot a music video by a philadelphia artist named boulder the music video was called john so you can watch that it's on my page i'm from philly where everything a john or you can watch that little vlog i did explaining what does john mean but anything could be a john a car could be a john a girl could be a john a house could be a john a slice of pizza could be a john your phone could be the john this gate could be the john i could trip over something that could be the john you know what i mean j-a-w-n john it's like you like like you yawning like y'all with jaw with an n at the end john 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 All right, we're passing Reed. Passing Reed. Check out the blocks. They did some demo, they have some demolition, which means they're probably gonna be doing some repair work soon. Probably adding a building there. Look at over here. It looks like over here we got a community garden. There, you see? It looks like a little community garden, yeah. You got a lot of weeds in it, though. We're passing Garrett Street. On the right-hand side, you see more new homes. Look at look at the block, and then you got that one behemoth of a home on the left-hand side. That doesn't even look new. That looks rehabilitated, because you see how there's still stucco on the side? Old stucco. That means that building was re rehabilitated. This building right here is new, and they're doing all of the brick pointing. Wow, they're doing an awesome job on brick pointing. Awesome job on brick pointing. We're on Wilder Street, 2600 block of Wilder. This is what Wilder Street looks like. Yeah, I don't really try to point it at the people who may or may not be citizens because I don't want to scare them. They probably think that I work for the government. <laughs> Nah, buddy, do your thing and work. Make, make that money. Everybody on planet Earth should be allowed to make some money. And those dudes are hardworking. A lot of those dudes love to work and they provide quality work for low cost. All right, we're on 26 and Dickinson. We're going to be crossing over. Passing Howard's. On the left hand side you see that this block half of them on the right have porches and then a lot of the ones on the left don't have porches so that goes to show you i don't know if i should save some of my energy 
for the devil's pocket or continue walking. I still got to use the bathroom, y'all. And I want to do the devil's pocket walkthrough after this. So right after this, I'm going to use the bathroom and then I'm going to go right around the corner and go to the devil's pocket and give y'all a walkthrough. So make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when the next video is dropped. And look through my page. I'm usually pretty good with scheduling a few tours ahead of time. So y'all could click those tours. When once you click the page, there's a little button on the side that says remind me. Click that. That's gonna be a notification bell. It's the remind me feature. So it lets you guys know when the video is actually released. But with that being said, guys, we're back on 26 and Tasker. I have to use the bathroom. I really gotta go. I'll do another tour of this neighborhood in the future. Especially in the summer and the spring, you know, when it warms up and y'all can see more people out. I know I'm able to cover more with driving. Right now, we spent about an hour or so walking. If I would have drove this hour, I would have covered way more square feet. Y'all would have probably saw the whole Grace Ferry, but I gotta use the bathroom. And this ain't no old joke. I'm about to pick one of these little blocks to go use the bathroom. Look at this block. Block looks crazy. We got a lot of trash out. <laughs> See all this litter? Yeah, I think this is the best block for me to utilize the lavatory. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That sucks. I got hand sanitizer, though, so wish me luck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I appreciate your attention span. Hit that thumbs up button. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when the next tour drops. And this is your boy Tune, tuning out.